Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is me Kushi and in today's video I will be sharing the first project of C++. So yeah, hope you all are excited about this. So let's start. So today we are making a program for a bus service and the bus can transport 50 passengers at once. So there are a few passengers waiting at the bus station that would be taken as the input. And we need to calculate the output of how many empty seats will the last bus have. So here is a sample input, output, and an explanation. If you haven't understood what the concept is, you can go through this. And there's a hint that we can use a modulo operator because what the modulo operator operator does is it gives you the remainder when two things, I mean two numbers are multiplied. Now, for example, I've multiplied five by two. So the remainder is one, and that can be given to us by the modulo operator. So yeah, let us start now. Okay. So int waiting will be equal to zero. Yes, we're taking this as zero because at first there are no people waiting. Int C will be equal to Z again. Okay, one important thing int means integer, and if you don't know what the basics of C plus plus are, then you can refer to a video linked in the description box. That was my previous video wherein I have given all the basics of C plus plus, and I've also given a very basic C plus plus program in the video. So yeah, you can watch it for more details and a better understanding. So yeah, let's continue. Now we're gonna leave a line because this block ends here. This is really, really optional to leave a line. So sin, okay, sin takes the uh, input from the user. So sin waiting. To calculate the number of people waiting. Now seats, uh, we're talking about the left out seats. And they will be equal to waiting modulo 50. Because they should be always divided by 50 because the seats in the bus are 50. And the last step, which is count, count prints the output, count will be equal to 50 minus. This will give us the remainder uh, that how many passengers, how many seats are end. Now let's run the code to see what the output is. Yeah. And guys, we have missed the last semicolon. So you can just add that. And yeah, test case one. 12 is the input, which is for the number of people waiting. So in the last bus, there will be 38 empty seats. In the second one, there are 231 people waiting. So according to that, when calculated, the people in the last, I mean, the seats left out in the last bus would be 90. And yeah, that's how the work goes easy with C++. And uh, if you like the video, just like, share, subscribe, comment out below, and press the notification bell for further updates. Bye for now. And more videos coming further, so stay tuned.